Hi, it's Steph, and I'm at the Home Depot, and they have a bunch of pumpkins and mums, as well as some new perennials and shrubs. So let's go ahead and take a look at the end of September inventory at the Home Depot. They have these bushel baskets of millet for $21.98. These are really pretty. They have really nice coloring for fall. And this is what the millet looks like. And the basket you can reuse next year for decor once you're done with the millet. This would look really pretty with some pumpkins and some mums and some fall arrangements. And these are $21.98. It looks like the smaller sugar pumpkins are $4.48. And then they have these white ones here as well. And the medium pumpkins are, it looks like they're $6.98. But let's go check out the price on the white. The white pumpkins are $9.98 each. And the jumbo pumpkins are $14.98. I will say that I do have a farm near me and they usually sell these big old pumpkins like these orange ones here for around five to ten dollars so I'm gonna stop at the farm stand to pick some up but if you don't have that option near you you can pick some up at the Home Depot as far as mums and asters they have lots of variety the mums come in different size containers these here are six and a half inch mum for $4.98 if you are going to buy mums we're just at the end of September here you want to probably pick some up that are in this condition here more tightly budded that way you'll have longer with your mums and something else is that these containers here tend to dry out fairly quickly in fact this one's pretty dry so you'll want to pot them up into a bigger container or offer them water at least twice a day especially on hotter days in order to get your mums to last these are seasonal mums they're greenhouse grown so they're a little bit fragile um, and in many cases they are just annuals they're not perennial so something to keep in mind some perennials and these are beautiful for a shade garden hostas deer do like them so if you deal with deer in your garden something that you'll have to be careful about because these are like salad to them but it's a beautiful way to add color to a shade garden there are so many different varieties of hostas they multiply and divide so easily in fact if you look at this container here you can see that just by buying this one plant you can easily divide it in at least two hosta and these are 9.98 and it's a very popular variety called patriot they do prefer shade and they are perennial. They're hardy down to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, so very hardy. And some more pretty fall containers. Now these are actually perennial. They have a grass in the center and a ground cover called a juga. Let's see how much these are. This looks like it could be the black scallop variety of a juga because it has this really broad foliage. And here are the bloom, sty uh, bloom spikes or stalks and a juga is also known as buggleweed and it's a great ground cover I have two different varieties in my garden I have the chocolate chip and the um, burgundy glow they're fabulous so this here says it's a perennial and the varieties will vary and in this case we can see that there's a ground cover and a grass and they are $29.98 and they come in this decorative whiskey barrel type planter and check out this really pretty black-eyed Susan. It's called August Variety, and it has a green coloring to it. That is really interesting. I've never seen these before, and they're beautiful. I can't be certain if the August Variety means the color or if there are multiple colors in this particular series, but it is stating that this is a perennial, and they are for full sun, and they're $24.98 and the growth habit on them says that they get to be 14 to 16 inches in height and 14 to 18 inches in width. They bloom midsummer through fall and hardiness zero degrees. And there's also this really beautiful buttery yellow variety with this dark center and a little bit more of a golden around the cone here. Really pretty. My guess is that these are also going to read August series or august variety let's take a look yes they do so black eyed susan august series so it must be a variety of colors that come for this august series and this pretty yellow and that beautiful green that we saw so if anyone grows these in their garden let me know are they perennial i'm in a zone six so i'd be really curious 
and some new perennials. Here we have a variety of goldenrod. Now these are some late summer, early fall bloomers. And these are not to be confused with ragweed that blooms also on the sides of the highway this time of year that look very similar. This would be something wonderful to add with say an aster because they'd be such a pretty color contrast and different texture contrast. Look at that. So this variety here is called Goldenrod Saladago Little Lemon. So this one is not the weed variety. Again, this is a perennial variety. It likes full sun. And let's see how big this one gets. So the Little Lemon Goldenrod gets to be about 12 inches in height. It needs 16 inch spacing. It says water when dry and hardy down to negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. It blooms late summer to mid fall. And it has these really pretty yellow plumes. Another late summer, early fall bloomer, Caryopteris. And the pollinators absolutely love this plant. There's been bees in and out of them. Um, and so let's see what variety this one is. So Caryopteris is also known as Bluebeard. And this variety here is called Pavilion. These are perennials for full sun. They get to be 14 to 18 inches in height and need 14 to 18 inch spacing. Typically Bluebeard is a little bit bigger, I would say closer to the 24 to 36 inch height and width, but this one appears to be a smaller variety, this pavilion. It is hardy down to negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit and it blooms early summer to fall. And look at these blooms. Very interesting the way that they kind of have like this circular shape all the way up the stem. And they have two colors, this really beautiful purple and a light pink. And here is the light pink. It's almost like a blush color. Has a real ethereal look to it. The pink is also part of this pavilion series. And again, same specs, 14 to 18 inches in height and width. Hardy to negative 30, full sun perennial. And these are 998, but they're actually 898. They're just mislabeled. Um, or an, the price on the label says 998, but if you look at the price tags, they're actually 898 for this size container. And that's what they ring out at the checkout. Some cabbages for your fall decor and container arranging. They have a really um, nice purple center on this variety here. And these are cool weather, so these will do really well. Even if you get a light frost, they will hold out. So these you should probably have through at least Thanksgiving until you get ready to decorate for Christmas or the holidays. The eight inch containers of decorative cabbage and kale are $6.98. I've mentioned this grass in my videos quite a few times because I absolutely love it. And it's been showing up at my Home Depots recently and I just can't get enough of it. I have this in my garden and the great thing about this is that even though it looks like a grass, it's actually not a grass, but it's very similar and could be a dupe for the Japanese forest grass, Hakanakloa. But this one, unlike the Japanese forest grass, can take a little more sun. I have mine planted in full sun. It's also a plant that likes water. So if you have a pond or an area that gets standing water this makes a great plant this here is the acorus sweet flag it's a variegated sweet flag it is perennial it likes part sun to sun i have mine in full sun and it handles it really well but it's also a really moist bed that i have it planted in so i think it does really well in this full sun because it has sufficient water but also what i love about these is that they are evergreen for me so they get the brightest color in the cooler temperatures so now in the fall and in the spring they fade a little bit in the uh, summer they get a little bit more pale but then they pick back up and right now they're nice and bright just like this and they stay green like this yellowish green all year long so even in the winter the acorus looks beautiful and so this one here, like I said, it was part sun. Uh, it is perennial. It is hardy down to negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit, and it gets six to 12 uh, inches in height and eight to 12 wide. Uh, they get a lot bigger than that. I wanna say that they do get six to 12 in height, but they probably get upwards of um, 18 to 24 inches or 18 to 20 inches in width. I've been able to divide mine a few times already. So really beautiful. And these containers here are 12.98.
They're also resistant to deer and rabbits. So thought I would add that because right above it, they have some lily turf. And lily turf, I find in my garden that rabbits do like to munch on it. This is also another plant that is used very frequently for a ground cover. It does bloom. This one actually just finished blooming. It has some purple spikes. Um, so unlike the acorus, the lily turf does bloom. The acorus does not. But the lily turf, um, like I said, it does make a good ground cover in the front of a border. Just be aware that they are not um, rabbit resistant, but it does appear to be deer resistant. So this can be ground cover for part sun. They bloom early to late summer. They get to be 18 to 24 inches in height. They need 18, 18 inch spacing and hardy down to negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And the lily turf is 9.98 for this 3.78 liter container. Here's a pretty cool azalea. It's called Silver Sword and it's got variegated foliage. So that makes it really interesting. Uh, azaleas are not deer proof in my garden. Are they in yours? I'd be curious to know. Comment below. So this is a great shrub for part sun and it does bloom. This one looks to have a hot pink or fuchsia type of bloom. Gets to be 24 inches in height so it looks like it's a bit more of a compact variety and they bloom early to late spring. Need 36 inch spacing and hardy down to negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And this container here is $16.98. And some proven winners, anemone. And this one here is the um, Talk Sweetly, or I believe that's what it's called. And it's a beautiful double petaled pink one. Now this one did look like it fell over a little bit. We did get lots of rain recently, so that's probably why. But it is a very pretty uh, medium pink variety bloom. Still lots of buds on this particular plant. And these bloom late summer through early fall. This is a number three Proven Winners container for $24.98. Another plant that blooms late spring, early summer through early fall, blooms for a really long time, is tick seed or Coreopsis. I actually have this variety in my garden. I really like this buttery yellow and it almost has like an appearance of glowing in the evening. While the tag doesn't read the variety, I'm pretty certain it's Moonbeam. And this here is a number three for $19.98. And if you're looking for shrubs that offer fall color, Viburnums would be a good one. So here is a Viburnum that's already getting its deep burgundy foliage color for the fall. Look at that. And while it doesn't tell me the variety, it just says Viburnum, and it is a part sun shrub. It is deer resistant and attracts butterflies. It looks like it blooms late spring to midsummer. It needs three to 10 foot spacing and hardy down to negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. It looks like it has some pink blooms and some berries. These here are a number three container for $24.98. And this viburnum actually has berries on it. Look at that. Some orange clusters of berries. Some fountain grasses, another great addition for your fall interest. Look at those plumes. Now this is a smaller or shorter variety called um, Hamlin. I actually have one of these in my garden and it is called a fountain, a dwarf fountain grass because it sort of looks like a fountain in the way that it blooms. Now blooms on grasses are these plumes that the plant will send up that you see here, these panicles. And this variety gets to be, let's see, 24 inches in height. It needs 24 inch spacing and it is hardy down to negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And it sends up these plumes in early summer through fall. And this container here, it looks like a number three for $24.98. Another variegated foliage evergreen here is this Euonymus. This one's called Chalipo or Chalipo. And it gets to be 12 feet in height, so it gets pretty large. And it needs six foot spacing hardy down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. But these are actually really pretty. You know, you can even grow these as a topiary. They'd be really great for a topiary project. This one might even have two in it. Can you see that? A lot of times nurseries will pop these up with multiples in a container. I've seen that happen even with boxwoods, just so that the container looks fuller. So always look at that because you could probably tease these apart and it almost becomes like a two for one. And they like full sun. This variety of Euonymus is $24.98, and this looks to be a number two container. 
And if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know that I love Hanoki Cypress. I actually love evergreens in general. And this one here is a beauty. I actually have this one in my garden that I did buy at Home Depot about two seasons ago now. And it is the Hanoki Cypress Twisted um, Hanoki called Sunny Swirl. It's got a really cool kind of contorted growth habit and it has a little bit more of a yellow green kind of coloring to it. Uh, more of a chartreuse green. And it says that it needs four to five foot spacing. This is a really slow growing variety because mine in a couple of years has only grown a tiny bit. So that is great. Um, slow growing dwarf type conifers are wonderful. They only grow um, usually up to six inches a year, which will keep them more compact in your garden for longer. Hardy down to negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. And this one likes part sun. I have mine planted in full sun and it does just fine. But let me back up a little bit so you can see the kind of contorted shape of it. It's a really pretty and interesting conifer. And here the price on this number five Cami Cyprus Sunny Swirl is $59.98. Some gold mop cypress. This is another great plant for a yellow evergreen. It's really low maintenance, has a really nice graceful kind of arching shape when it grows. And these need a lot of sun in order to, to keep this beautiful golden color. If you look underneath, you'll notice that the ones, the branches or foliage that doesn't get as much sun will be more green. And where it does get more sun, it'll be more golden. I actually have one of these in my garden that I made a little tree out of. I topiaried it because it got a little bit big for its space. So these are a really great evergreen for the landscape. So this is a fall cypress golden mop. It is a shrub for full sun. It is deer resistant and I can vouch for that. The deer do not bother it in my garden. They get to be four to six feet in height. And so mine was starting to get a little bit large after 10 years of being planted. So I limbed it up and I made it a little topiary. I actually have a video on my channel which I can link below in the description of this video in case you're interested. They get to be 36 to 48 inches in um, width for spacing and they're hardy down to negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit the gold mop cypress. And these here are $16.98. Here's another variety of Caryopteris, and this one has a gold or chartreuse foliage, which stands out really nicely around all of the green in the garden. This variety here is called Bluebeard Gold Crest, and it is a mounded variety. It is full sun perennial for $10.98. This is the uh, Nature's Nutrients containers here, and it blooms midsummer to fall. It gets to be 28 to 36 inches in height and 36 to 48 inches in width, hardy down to negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. But really pretty foliage on this one. And it looks like it hasn't even bloomed yet. Gallardia is another really pretty flower that has these fall colors. Now this one is a late spring through summer bloomer, but because these just arrived at the store, they were probably growing in a greenhouse, um, but they would be wonderful to use in a fall container. Because they are perennial, once you're done using them in your fall container, you could go ahead and plant them out in your landscape. Look at those colors, perfect for fall. The yellow with the red and a burgundy center, lots of buds on this plant to bloom. And let's check out the variety. So this Gillardia is called Spin Top and it gets to be eight to 10 inches in height. It needs 15 to 18 inch spacing, water when dry and hardy down to negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Blooms late spring through summer. It also has a really interesting foliage. If you look at it, it almost looks like the shape of like a Dusty Miller. See that? But yeah, that's a great way to use these perennials that are in store now, you can use them in your fall arrangements. If you're in a colder zone, you really only get a few weeks to enjoy um, fall containers. So what a great way to, if you're gonna spend money on anything, you can spend it on a perennial that will come back in your garden. And look at this beauty. So another great option to make some container arrangements, sedum. What a wonderful, um, all around perennial for a garden. If you don't have a sedum planted yet, you should get one. They are so low maintenance. They like a well draining soil, lots of sun, and they're really, really low fuss. Um, they, they're hardy as, hardy, hardy as can be, tough as nails. And even their foliage is really pretty. They're a type of succulent sedum, so they hold a lot of water in their foliage, which means that they can go quite a bit 
of you know time between waterings. So if you're having a, a drought weather, it's fine. These are gonna handle it without an issue. So these perennials here is, um, the variety is called Stone Crop Autumn Fire and it is a hybrid sedum. It gets to be 24 to 30 inches in height. It needs 18 to 24 inch spacing. Water when dry, hardy down to negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and it blooms midsummer through midfall. So if you use these in your containers as a fall decoration, you can then plant them in your garden and have another beautiful perennial that will give you some late summer and early fall color. The other thing to note about these is if you're planting it and say one of these stems breaks off, just stick it in the soil seed them roots super easily and these are $8.98 and here is another really pretty ground cover that I just discovered this year and I actually picked three of them up just last week and it is called plumbago this is a ground cover that blooms late summer through early fall with these really pretty and dainty vibrant blue they're like a true blue bloom and the foliage will start to turn red in the fall. So it also has fall interest. You can kind of see this one's already starting with a little bit of the red modeling. So let's check out the specs on this ground cover plumbago. The plumbago is a perennial for part sun. It, this container here is $8.98, even though it's marked $9.98. And the height on these get to be six to eight inches in height. They need 18 inch spacing, water when dry, and they're hardy down to negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. They bloom late summer through mid fall. And what got me was this pretty blue bloom. I already have some ajuga that blooms with this beautiful blue color in a, a spike type bloom in the spring. And now I'm happy to add this variety to my garden to get some late season color. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the red foliage as we get more into fall. Here's another beautiful ornamental grass for fall. I actually just planted one of these in my garden um, a couple of videos back and it is the Carly Rose fountain grass. Do you see these pink plumes? That is what drew me to these. So pretty. The Penicetum Carly Rose is a showy pinkish white fluffy flower spike in late summer. It gets to be two to three feet in height and from what I hear about three to four feet in width and they're hardy in zones five through eight. And these containers here of the Carly Rose Fountain Grass, uh, they like full sun. Most ornamental grasses do like full sun in order to keep that nice upright habit. And these are $16.98 some dark side of the moon astilbe and this is a new variety of dark foliage astilbe by proven winners new in garden centers this year i've actually planted a couple of these in my garden and they have a pink bloom spike but what's really cool about this is that traditionally astilbe is a shade plant and this dark side of the moon astilbe with this beautiful dark foliage has actually been bred to be a astilbe that can handle some sun and shade so dual purpose Look at this foliage. I know it's coming up a little bit green, but it is actually red, a deep burgundy color. Now I can't find a spec card on these, but they look to be a one and a half gallon container for $19.98. My guess is that they get to be anywhere from 18 to 20 inches in height and about 18 to 24 inches in width. And they are bred for part sun to sun and shade. And some Agastache, another really wonderful late summer, early fall bloomer. The pollinators absolutely love this and they have a bit of a minty fragrance. Look at that, this one has more of a darker appearance um, and what happens is after these blooms drop off, you still get some coloring on the plant with those sepals. So the plant still looks like it's in bloom even after it's dropped some of the petals. Let's check out the variety. This one is called Mexican Mint Little Adder Agastache, and it is deer resistant. The deer tend to stay away from fragrant plants like lavender, and in this case, the agastache, nepeta, salvia, they don't like the smell, so they don't eat them, which is great. This is an upright perennial. These are the larger containers of perennials for $14.98. They bloom late spring through fall. They get to be 15 to 18 inches in height and 20 to 24 inches in width, and they are hardy down to negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Pretty soon we're gonna be in our house for the long winter, but we can put up these pretty birdhouses and look at the birds out in our garden. Look how cool these are. They look like they are moss covered. 
There's this really large one here for $39.98 and it has a chain on it. So it looks like that's how you would hang it. But these are so cool. They almost look like they would belong in like a fairy garden. And then let's see, let me put this one back here. And then there's this smaller one here. Well, it's not smaller, it's just a different shape. It's more oblong and it's a little bit less, it's less decorative. So this one's $34.98. And there's another one of that same one. And then they have this one, which is a tiny one. And this one that hangs, that sort of looks like a, it has a round shape to it. It looks like a teardrop. And this one's 24, oh, it's called raindrop, 24.98. So really cute decorative birdhouses. And there are still lots and lots of cone flowers that you can plant now and they will get established in your garden and bloom beautifully for you next year. My coneflowers start blooming for me in July in my zone six garden. Something to note about coneflowers is that they do like a really well draining soil and full sun. So that's where you wanna plant these in order to make sure that they don't suffer from crown rot um, because they can be susceptible to that in soil that stays pretty moist. And they do prefer, like I said, full sun. This one here is Sombrero Adobo Orange. And it is 1098, has an upright habit. Let's see how big this one gets. 22 to 24 inches in height and 18 to 20 inch spacing. Hardy down to negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit and they bloom early to late summer. So they have this beautiful orange color and most of these are still tightly budded and not even blooming. Only a couple of them have bloomed. And then they also have some white varieties. And the white looks like it's coneflower powwow white, 1098. Well, that brings us to the end of today's tour. I hope that you've enjoyed checking out the end of September inventory at the Home Depot. And I hope that you get to get out in your gardens and do some fall planting. It's a wonderful time to get some things in the ground so that they will pop up for you next year. You'll be glad that you did the work now, I promise. So thank you for spending your time with me and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button and please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos and we'll see you soon.